Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Yes, welcome back to Advanced Class number 70. And once more, I'm joined by very special guest, Alvaro. Hi, hello everyone. That's right. And uh, Alvaro is back because he is a sucker for punishment. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what that means? Sucker for punishment? I mean, uh, masoka? It, well, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know what that means. So, it's like a, a lag like to being punished? Like if, like, you know, we keep like the teachers just, like beating on you, beating on you, but you say more, more, you know, and it's like you, yeah, you that, like it. That should be in uh, the, the correct word should be masochista. Ah, uh, well, yes. And the jargon word, it's... Masochist uh, m- in English, yeah. Masoka. Okay, so so uh, he's a sucker for punishment, so he came back. He's here again. and uh, My boss forced me. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Now we can review with the passive voice. But, Alvaro, yesterday we got a bit carried away, and we didn't even have time to look at translation list 13. Yep. So... Well, we'll just review a little bit with the passive voice here because then, in fact, in class 70, the new content, we have more passive voice. So we can more or less go ahead with the translation list. But first, just this idea of the passive voice, we can say, he's doing it now. And what would you, how, how would you say that in the passive? He is doing it now. So we, the subject would be it. You'd say it is being done. It is being done right now. Now, yes. Okay, I eat, uh, or Spanish people eat chicken every day. You could say chicken is eaten every day, right? Mm -hmm. For example. Anyway, we'll look at this more in a few minutes. But now let's go ahead and take a look at our translation list. Okay. Translation. All right, yes, it is time for translation list number 13. Are you ready, Alvaro? Yeah, shoot it to me. And at home? And at home, are you ready? Yeah, are you sure? Okay, good, good. Hemos tenido un aumento enorme en las ventas este año. We've had a um, tremendous increase in sellings. Well, This ventas, year? ventas? Sellings? Sales. 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 We have the verb to sell and selling, but when it's, yeah, las ventas in, in terms of the noun, sales. But sales is also rebajas, no? Sales, yeah. Well, well, yeah, we say there are sales or things are on sale or there are sales. That's right. So it can be rebajas and ventas. Exactly. Okay. After Christmas, there are always sales that's, in, okay. in Spain, right? Mm-hmm. So we've had a, bueno, enorme? Um... Big, huge. Yeah, huge, we huge. could say. We've had a huge increase in sales this year. Can you repeat that one more time? We had a huge... We've, we've. We've, we have. we've had a, a, a huge increase in sales okay. this year. Great. Acelera el ritmo. Did I say that right? Acelera. 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 acelera el ritmo. Thank you. Acelera el ritmo. Increase your speed. Increase your speed. Or, el ritmo, the... The rhythm. The, well, the ry- rhythm is like music. Dancing, no? Rhythm is musical, you know? But pace, pace. Pace. We can say, speed up the pace. And how do you spell it? P-A-C-E. P-A-C-E, cool. Pace. Speed up the pace. Speed up the pace. Mm-hmm. Speed up the pace. Number three. No hay mucha probabilidad... De que eso ocurra. There's not a very high probability. Not a very high probability. There, there, there's not much probability. Death can be also likelihood. It's a likelihood. There's not much likelihood. It's, there's not much likelihood that that it's been done. Que eso ocurra. That that happen. That that will happen. So, yes, okay, it's, um, yes, there's not much likelihood that it will happen. Okay, 
Number four, es un alivio saber que no tendrás que pasar por esas penurias. 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 Uf, penurias. Otra vez. Penurias. So it's a relief. What a, what a tough word. Yeah. I don't know if I know it. Penurias. Um, Here we have is, uh, hardship. hardships. Hardships in this case. So hardships. So in English, penurias. It's hardships. Mm -hmm. Is it an alivio? So it's a relief to know that you don't need to pass over those hardships again. Ah, to the, it's a relief to know that you through you now you que no tendrás. You won't have to. Go through. Go through those hardships again. Whoa. Okay. Difficult sentence. It's a relief to know that you won't have to go through those hardships again. Yes. Okay. Ooh. And the next awesome. one is absolutely true. Number five is absolutely true. Esta lista se está haciendo difícil. This list is getting difficult. Yes. Difficult. And it is. Crees... Que te lo mereces? Do you think you deserve it? Do you think you deserve it? Again, do you think you deserve it? Do you think you deserve it? Yes. Uh, of course I do. I do. Yes, I think I deserve you, it, Alvaro. You deserve it? I think so. What do you deserve it? Uh, why? <laughs> you punishing me? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about, because this is, this is supposedly our review. Mm. Well, how about you go through the Spanish and I will and I will say the English just so we can... Go a little bit faster because we have lots to do in the next in the next ten minutes. Okay, so ella vale su peso en oro. Ooh. Okay, at home in both alta at home, she's worth her weight in gold. She's worth her weight in gold. Mm. Ella vale su peso en oro. Mm, very good. And number eight. Okay, number eight. It's ¿Puedes hacer caso omiso a este punto? Oh, very good. Yeah. At home? You can disregard. Disregard. Hacer caso omiso. Yes. Disregard. Disregard this point. You can disregard this point. Very good. Okay, number nine, it's... ¿Qué tal te llevas con ellos? How do you get along with them? With them. Sticking my tongue out, right? Them. Them. How do you get along with them? Or get along, it's uh, llevarse. Llevarse, llevarse con. bien con alguien to get along with some. Or, well, llevarse. Mm -hmm. yeah, llevarse con alguien. How do you get along with them? ¿Qué tal te llevas con ellos? Mm. Okay, number 10. Please. Number 10. Deberías poner un encabezamiento aparte para esta información. Very good. Yeah, a long one. You should put a separate heading for this information. You should put a separate heading for this heading. information. Heading, heading, heading. Because it goes. Does it go at the at the head of the the top, the head, or the or the foot? No, uh, it's at the head. No, oh, yeah, it's at the head. So it's a heading. 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 Yes. You should put a separate heading for this information. Okay, number eleven. It's uh, hay un antiguo refrán que dice lo mismo. Ah, oh, yes. At home, how do you say this? There's an old saying that says the same. There's an old saying. There's an old saying, Alvaro, that says, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Are you familiar with that? Mm, not very sure. Ventured is to, 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 try. to try. Basically, what we're saying is, if you don't try, you'll never, you'll never be able to succeed. Or you'll never know. Yep. Nothing ventured, like nothing at, 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 attempted? Yeah, well, some, some, someone uh, very similar in Spanish could be but, but the opposite. It's, el que la sigue, la consigue. So mm -hmm. if you try it yeah. a lot, yeah. you'll get it eventually. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's the opposite, yeah. but I meaning the same. If you you, you yeah. need to try it. Yeah, you have to, to get it. If you want something, you have to chase it, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now we have uh, the verb to venture. Nothing ventured. And uh, it's like a business. If you start a new business, we can call it a business venture. 
es una, una aventura. Yeah. Do you, you say that in Spanish? Sí, es aventurarse. With, with the business, yeah? Yeah, aventurarse en un nuevo negocio. Okay, okay, the verb, the verb. But we also have a noun, a venture. He had, he started a new venture. Do you, you, can you say that in Spanish or not mm, really? Maybe ventura. But it's not very, I mean, maybe old Spanish, or maybe we don't yeah. use it too much. Yeah, but, but we do say this in English. He, he started an interesting venture. He had an idea for an interesting business venture. I have some ideas for some business ventures in Spain. Maybe maybe later on I will uh, yeah, try Yeah, tell them. me later. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. I don't know. I, al I always have ideas for different ventures. Anyhow, number 12. Okay, number 12 on the last one is, tenemos que elaborar un presupuesto. Ooh, I like this one. I like it, Alvaro. Okay, so I like it. Now at home, do you know? Do you know this one? Because there's, there's a difference. You can say we have to draw up a budget. Correct. Yes, but we need two difference between budget and quote. <laughs> okay. Because there's another type yeah. of quote. Okay. Yes, you're right. You're right. But we are, and we also have this phrasal verb to draw up. Que es elaborar. To draw up is to prepare. Elaborar in the sense of a of a contract or a legal document or a budget in this case. Un presupuesto mm -hmm. is a budget, right? A budget, which is a, you know, your statement of expected expenses, right? Yeah. yeah. Whereas, yes, you, we do have a quote, but uh, yeah, so, so a quote can be, um, how much will this cost? Can you give me a quote? Can you give me a, a, an assessment of the cost of something, of a particular item or particular yeah, the things procedure, that in, right? In Spanish, we use the same, but in different contexts. Ah, uh, yes. They're both presupuestos, uh, okay. but quote will be when you go to a place and you ask for a quote about something. Okay. So how much would it cost uh, just to yeah. buy a new so, washing machine? Yeah, so there we go, a quote, absolutely. Yeah, to, to a store maybe, mm -hmm. or a painter to paint your house for a service. Yeah. And the budget is how much money you have to spend. On exactly, Because exactly. my, my budget... Mm -hmm. is to spend this on this quote. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Mi presupuesto para tu presupuesto. Absolutely. It's kind of tricky. It is tricky, and but in, but interesting. Yes. Yep. Well done. So at home, did you get all 12 right? Did you, more or less, did you did you have a handle on this? It's difficult, isn't it, Alvaro? Yeah, it's difficult for me even. Yes. It's difficult for Alvaro, and Alvaro was involved, let's be honest, you were involved in creating these, well, editing these lists, right? Yeah, well, I need to, um, I, I, I listen all this list, the three levels, yeah. at least two times yeah. each list. Because in case in case you missed yesterday's class, Alvaro was with me yesterday, and he is, in, uh, Alvaro, Alvaro works here uh, for Vaughn Television, and he works on projects related to uh, to this course, among many others. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, you've seen these lists, but they're 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 very difficult, aren't they? Yeah, the yeah. advanced level, it's really difficult. Absolutely. So keep studying. Absolutely, yes. Expression of the day. It is time now, yes, for our expression of the day. Our expression of the day today is like a bat out of hell. You may, Alvaro, are you familiar with a song by, are you familiar with the 1980s artist Meatloaf? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I believe he had an album called Bat Out of Hell, which I, I was never a fan of Meatloaf. But anyway, he had an album called that. But mm -hmm. this Expression of the day is not referring to the 80s artist Meatloaf, but rather the expression, well, which means... Do you know what this means? I'm not sure, but I think it's bad out of hell. It's like something going very fast uh, from a dark side. So. Yeah. Basically, you're, we, we, we say he ran like a bat out of hell to, to typically exit quickly or to run, to run away quickly, to run quickly, to really move. Now, not we wouldn't normally say in a race in the Olympics, so he ran like a bat out of hell. We wouldn't normally say that. But in, in context where you're fleeing, where you're running away from something, something happened and you have to run away quickly, you can say, he ran like a bat. How do you say bat in Spanish? Morcielago. That is morcielago. Morcielago, thank morcielago. you. Morcielago. Like a bat out of hell. I think a bat out of hell uh, could be in Spanish, uh, como un poseso. It's mm. like being possessed. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like something, doing something really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Como un poseso. All right. 
like a bat out of hell. There we go. That's our expression of the day. Okay. So as soon as this class is finished, are you going to run out of the studio like a bat out of hell? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. All right. Now we're going to return to a concept that we're, we're playing with here over the next few classes, which is the passive voice. And now focusing on the future. Okay. So we've seen the passive voice. We've seen some structures. Some, someone is doing it. And we can say it is being done. So we have the verb, we add the verb to be, and then we conjugate the verb to be according to our tense. And then we follow it with the participle, the third column, let's say, of the of the verb conjugation, right? So here, it's going to be done. Se va a hacer, it's going to be done. Se hará, it will be done. Está a punto de hacerse. It's about to be done. It's about to be done, exactly, yes. It's about time. It's about time. Ya era hora, right? It's about time. Okay, let's try a little bit of translation here, Alvaro. Okay. Se pintará pronto. It will be painted soon. It will be painted soon. Can you turn that into a negative for me? It won't be painted soon. In the, in the interrogative? Will it be painted soon? Right. Will it be painted soon? What do you want to know? I want to know if it's going to be painted soon. Yeah, or if, if it will be if painted. It will be painted soon. I want to know if it will be painted soon. Hey, Kyle, will it be painted soon? No, it won't be painted soon. Or, yes. Yes, it will be painted soon. Absolutely. Very good. Se va a pintar mañana. It's going to be painted tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And in the negative? It won't be painted tomorrow. Yeah, or with the, with, with the future with going to? It... Uh, it's not going to. It's not going to be painted tomorrow. It's not going to be painted tomorrow. Is your bedroom going to be painted tomorrow? Uh, it won't be painted tomorrow. It's not going to be painted tomorrow. Yes. No, no, it's not going to be painted tomorrow. Ask me if my house is going to be painted tomorrow. Kyle, if, is your house going to be painted tomorrow? No. No, it isn't going to be painted tomorrow. Mm. Okay. Is it, is it going to be your house painted soon? Is your is house going, going to be... Painted soon? Ah, good question. No. No, I don't think so. It isn't going to be painted soon. Está a punto de pintarse. It's about to be painted? It's about to be painted. Está a punto de pintarse. It's about to be painted. And in the negative? It's not about to be painted. It's not about to be painted. Very good. Excellent. Vocabulary of the day. All right, yes, it is time for our vocabulary of the day, our five words. And we've got to move fast. We've only got about 30 seconds here. Come on, let's go. Mendigar. To beg. Good. Doblar. To bend. To bend. Nice. And with, papel, with, with paper, when you bend it all the way. Fold. Nice. To fold. Farolear. Ooh. Ooh. To be cocky. <laughs> well, <laughs> nah, well... Not, 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 not really. I mean, we're not necessarily being cocky, but we're trying to mislead with mislead. our, with our, with our gestures. So we, we, we have a special verb to bluff. Oh, bluffing! If you pay, if you play poker, you can bluff, right? Bluff. Can you say that again? Bluff. Very good. Aburrir. To bore. To bore. Are you bored? No, I'm not bored. Is this class boring? No, it's not boring. Am I boring you? No, and you're not boring me. Would you be bored if I started boring you? Oh, I'm not sure. That was very really fast. Sorry. Would you be bored if I started boring you? I won't be bored if you start boring me. Uh, you wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. But if I really started boring you, eventually maybe you would get bored, right? Yeah, eventually if you start boring me. Oh, okay, <laughs> be, okay, very good. Be bored. Desmoralizar. To this... No S. Courage. D... Demoralize. Demoralize. To de One more time. Demoralize. To demoralize. We are out of time. Thank you so much, Alvaro. Okay. The, no problem, Kyle. Thank you so much, and I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.